Hello, my name is Joe. I am the digital producer at Dada, and I am here to tell you about the Dada Hologram project, co-commissioned by The Space. We've been looking at use cases for augmented reality holograms over the past few months, and this video will tell you a bit more about what we've done. The first phase of our research and development project looked at developing a mobile app that would allow you to watch an interpretation of a promenade or immersive theatre piece, where the audience has to move around the space in order to take part. We began by sending the script for the excerpt of a show, uh, All the King's Men, by Chronic Insanity, off to be interpreted. Here's the footage we've received from the interpreter of them wearing a black shirt standing in front of a green screen interpreting audio we cannot hear. The problem with this footage is that though the green screen is well lit for eliminating video processing uh, software, it won't be well lit enough for our app to eliminate cleanly. So we'll have to do some processing in order to turn that real live green screen into a digital monochromatic green screen. That is a green screen that is all one precise shade of green. And what we can see now is that same interpretation being given with a digital green screen placed behind the interpreter rather than the real life one. Our app can now remove this when it's at, uh, functioning so that uh, the interpreter can exist in the world of the audience. And that's what we see here. Someone is holding a smartphone in portrait mode. The back camera is on and displaying the world on the screen of the smartphone. And the interpreter giving the same interpretation is in the bottom right hand corner of the phone as the person walks around their front room showing the app working perfectly. Here we can see our app making software a series of grey windows full of text and numbers with a central window showing a large white rectangle with a smaller rectangle in front of it and the icon of a camera showing the position of the virtual camera in our app setup. The large white rectangle uh, is selected and the side of the grey outer window on the right shows that this displays the webcam or the back camera of any device that this app is running on, which allows us to effectively turn the phone or smartphone of an audience member into a lens to view the world through. The smaller white grey rectangle is shown to be playing a video or able to play a video which allows us to play the interpretation in the bottom right hand corner of the screen of the audience's phone and the webcam when working shows a person or the world that the camera is aimed at perfectly with a grey screen in the bottom right hand corner which eventually once it's finished loading, reveals the BSL interpreter overlaid on the feed of the webcam in augmented reality, interpreting something that we can't hear. Uh, this is the app functioning, and it works just as well with the back camera of your smartphone too. Phase two of the project involved filming a performance which had BSL built into it, Crash Landing by Rhiannon May, and seeing the various ways this show could be presented to a digital, remote, or at home audience. Here we have a performer wearing a navy jumpsuit and moving in front of a fabric background lit in pink and blue. And here we have the same performer being recorded on a laptop, the background replaced with a grey void. This camera films them in two different ways, which we can see. Um, we can see here. The top camera feed shows the video of the performer, and the bottom camera feed shows a heat map of how far away the performer is from the camera. Here is our app building software, with the paused footage in the center of the screen with a white background and some dark grey windows surrounding it full of values and controls. Now this white background can be replaced with any video or image that we want. And if we hit play, we can see the 3D video of the performer playing over whatever background we want. Two performers, both wearing navy jumpsuits, are performing in front of a fabric background lit in pink and blue. And in front of them is a special camera we use to film them, which records regular video and depth information onto our laptop of just the performers and none of their surroundings. The surroundings are replaced with a grey void, and there are some controls on the right-hand side of the screen for editing the quality of the 3D or volumetric video. Now, as you can see, this is a live feed with the performance being captured on the laptop in real time. And now we can see the app building software with a paused video of the performers in a white void in the centre of the screen and dark grey windows full of values and controls surrounding them. Now this white void can be replaced with any video we want, so let's use a video of the performance space and hide the performers for now. 
So here is a video of the performance space without anyone sitting in it. But if we click to the right here, then the 3D performers can appear in the performance space as if they were recorded in it all along. And if we click on the top center play button, we can see the isolated recording of the performers playing on top of the webcam feed in, on a living room table as if a small version of the performance was happening on your tabletop. Phase three of the project involved filming a deaf performer performing alongside a theatre show, Tuning In by Adam Fenton, with the aim of projecting the performer into the performance space during a live production as an augmented reality member of the cast. Two performers are performing in a black box studio space. Adam on the left is a white person in blue dungarees. Nadim on the left is an Asian man in a grey hoodie. Both are standing up, Adam is speaking and Nadim is signing. This is a traditional performance. But now we see another shot of the same performers, Nadim now wearing a black t-shirt. Adam is now sitting down and Nadim is being filmed by a special camera that records a 3D video of Nadim's performance onto a laptop, with the background of the theatre space replaced with a grey void. This is the setup for recording a virtual hologram performance by Nadim. So here is the app that we made for phase three of the hologram project for tuning in. We just load it up. And what you get is a black screen, which makes our background when this is projected. Um, you don't see any of the black because you can't really project black as a color, which means that anything that appears on the screen appears as a projection in the world of the performance space. Um, we've coded a few different buttons. So if I press this one here, we have an interpretation begin. So what you can hear is a recording of the performer, which means that whoever is operating can follow along and make sure that the interpretation being projected matches the live performance. Uh, you can even slow down and speed up the interpretation using these arrow keys. So if we hit the back arrow, we can hear it slow down. If we hit the right arrow, we can have it speed up. Bring it back down to a normal level. There are different buttons we can hit. Obviously, we can, um, if the interpreter wants to reinterpret a bit, we can skip to a different part of the interpretation, uh, which works well. We can also uh, skip to different types of interpretation, like if we have two interpreters or the interpreter twice in one space, playing two different characters in different costumes. Um, or we can just stop the whole thing once it's finished and then exit out of the app. Now we can see the 3D of volumetric video recording of Nadim projected onto a gray wall, the previous gray void replaced with a black one, which the projector can't project, making only Nadim present in the projection, as if actually present in the space. And now we can see a laptop connected to a white projector playing the footage that is being projected into the gray performance space in real time. Uh, the projection is positioned above a radio on a chair as if the projection is coming out of the top of the radio. And pressing keys on the laptop can make the projection of Nadim vanish and reappear. And now we see a shot of a live performance with Adam in person and Nadim's 3D video projected next to them as a hologram. The two performers are still interacting as if both are in the same space, and a live audience is enjoying the performance as it takes place in a room with grey walls and a wooden floor.